Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, recently the talk of the town is all about DeepSeek and I hope you have heard about DeepSeek R1 model, uh, the kind of buzz it is currently making, all the American AI companies are worried, you know, even Google, you know, OpenAI, so many big, big companies who have probably spent so much of money to train this amazing MOE models or other kind of LLM models or reasoning models. And because of this deep seek, uh, the model that has specifically come right now, it is very, very much cost efficient with respect to inferencing, with respect to inferencing, sorry, with respect to training. And obviously the cost of training has also got reduced. So uh, I know everybody may be reading some of the other things uh, in the internet, in blogs and all, in LinkedIn post and all. But, uh, you know, I really wanted to make a dedicated video to make you understand all about this. Uh, we'll talk about what exactly, who is DeepSeek, which company is this, you know, and uh, how did they specifically train this particular model, why this model training was very much efficient when compared to all the other models. We'll also be discussing about the kind of techniques that they have specifically used to train this model. Along with this, we'll also be seeing the demo of DeepSeek, you know, chat. And I'll also try to showcase some of the problems, uh, some of my developers, you know, so like as soon as we understood, hey, this LLM model is quite efficient with respect to inferencing cost, we started using this for developing our Gen AI product, which we are specifically doing. Uh, one of our developer, Mahindra, uh, he started exploring and he showed a lot of things which DeepSeek was not answering properly. You know, when I say not answering properly, it's more like keeping quiet, okay? So that also I'll probably show you. Uh, please make sure that you watch this video till the end because there will be a lot of things to discuss. So let me quickly go ahead and share my screen. So here is the DeepSeek uh, website. Uh, you can probably go ahead and get the access of DeepSeek version 3. You can just directly go ahead and click on start now. Um, <clears throat> there are various models that you'll be able to see over here. DeepSeek uh, V3, uh, DeepSeek 2.5, Quen 2.5, Llama 3.1. Uh, sorry, this is mainly developed by them and we are comparing all the different different performance over here, right? And over here you can see with respect to this blue color, uh, specifically if I see the metrics, it is superbly, amazingly higher than all the other models out there. But uh, as soon as this DeepSeek model came, I would definitely like to showcase this amazing thing. Uh, it's just like to all the American companies. Kyo hela dala na? Kyo hela dala na? Okay, fun apart guys, I just wanted to show you this thing. But uh, now let's go ahead and understand about all the specific models. And if you don't know, today itself, DeepSeek has also announced a new uh, multi-model, which is called as Janus Pro, okay? And uh, this specific model uh, is just like for image generation. And, uh, and with respect to the metrics, it is better than DALI, you know, uh, which OpenAI has probably come up with, okay? So let's understand each and everything. So what, what exactly is DeepSeek? Uh, it's a Chinese AI research lab established in 2023. And uh, they have actually taken this particular project as a side project itself, okay? So this is like a quant company. Quant company basically means uh, you have people who are very much expert in mathematics, physics, all this hardcore problems, you know, where they have probably done PhD and all. And that is the reason they could crack this problem statement over here, okay? And here you can see that has rapidly emerged as a competitor to giants like OpenAI with this DeepSeek R1 model. Despite being a newcomer, it challenges established players through remarkably uh, cost efficiency and innovation. Okay, we'll try to understand what is this, how how it was really cost efficient. You know, if you are watching my videos with respect to generative AI LLM models, I've already made videos like how an LLM model is basically trained. You know, there is a very important step which is called as supervised fine tuning technique, right? And they have completely replaced this supervised fine tuning technique. Why I'm saying you this? Because if I go to DeepSeek. Uh, over here in the GitHub, right? And the best part is that they have completely open sourced all the techniques that they have specifically used. Now, this is a major blow to companies like OpenAI, right? The name is OpenAI, but most of the thing is closed over there, right? So that is the reason. So uh, what they have actually done, see, uh, they have probably announced about DeepSeek and all, and over here you can see with respect to the performance, right? This blue color is specifically with respect to DeepSeek. Then you have this OpenAI models, right? OpenAI Mini and all. Here you can see with respect to AIME, a kind of performance metrics, code forces with respect to code solving, GPQA, Diamond, Maths, MMLU, SWE bench verified. It's pretty much better, right? With respect to all the other metrics. MMLU, it's a little bit less than OpenAI, but 
here you can probably see it's pretty much good now how they were able to do this you know now this is the statement that they have actually done and all the research papers have also been probably uploaded i guess and here you can see the paper link you can just go ahead and click it and here you can probably see this right so this is the entire pdf even you'll not be getting in archive they have directly put in uh, the <laughs> github over here <coughs> so deep sea carbon incentivizing reasoning capability in llms via reinforcement learning now this is the most important word reinforcement learning now let's understand what did they do before if you want to probably train any llm models all the companies were specifically applying supervised fine tuning technique okay now in this supervised fine tuning technique they were specifically uh, using this to create the base model but here what they did instead of this they have applied directly reinforcement learning now if you know about reinforcement learning right the agents become better and better right with respect to its surroundings different different things here this approach allows the model to explore the chain of thoughts for solving complex problems resulting in the development of deep seek r10 right it demonstrates capabilities such as self verification reflection generation long cot's chain of thoughts right chain of thoughts chain of thoughts basically means from one or the other event they are able to remember multiple things right and because of this the reasoning capabilities of this llms has been amazing okay and that is the reason this was one of the thing one is post training right so you have something called as post training pre training and all in the post training last skill reinforcement learning on the base model so we create the base model till one specific stage right after that on top of it they have also applied reinforcement learning and now because of this the performance has probably increased by a lot like training time has been decreased we introduced our pipeline to develop deep seek r1 this pipeline incorporates two rl stage aims at discovering improved reason patterns aligned with human preferences as well as two sft stages that serve as a seed for the model reasoning and non reasoning capabilities right so <clears throat> this is the pipeline that they have specifically used again i'll repeat it the pipeline incorporates two reinforcement uh, learning stage aimed at discovering improved reasoning patterns and then two sft stages it is not replacing sft but on top of that it has basically added this uh, reinforcement learning stages okay and the second reason smaller models can be powerful too so they have also applied distillation distillation is a process uh, you know uh, here you can see we we demonstrate our reasoning patterns of larger model can be distilled into smaller models larger model is basically made it converted into smaller models okay resulting in better performance all these things are there right so all these things are there and you can probably also go ahead and see uh, in the hugging face even you can also try it with olama i have already done it but i'll create a dedicated video later on now uh this was the major things uh, with respect to this now here i was actually discussing about right now in this key innovation and strategies here you can see cost efficiency they spent somewhere around 5 to 6 million dollars that is what they are probably stating you know to train the foundation model on the other hand other companies like google facebook open ai they have spent more than 100 times of this particular fund right let's say 100 million 1 billion some somebody say it's more than 100x times i'll not say 100 times but 100x times i should probably uh, keep over here x okay inferencing wise operational cost are uh, also significantly lower enabling scalable deployment i specifically use this uh, my developers are also using it they're saying that this is super super fast okay and if i talk about the cost with respect to the inferencing cost i think 1 million tokens for 1 million tokens open ai charges somewhere around uh, 50 to 60 dollars whereas this the charging in cents i think 60 to 70 cents that is what uh, i was able to see in some of the documentation that they had okay hardware constraint as a catalyst now how they were able to do this all it is all about innovation and strategies guys due to the us export restriction chinese firms like deep seek could not access nvidia top tier h100 gpus okay that is what it is basically said and with the help of this particular gpus many bigger companies are creating bigger bigger models okay instead they they, are, they they were just using h800 and a800 chips right now how this particular chips were able to do this because they definitely um, you know brought some kind of innovation with respect to training the model and that is the reason they were just you able to use this and they were able to train it okay now architectural breakthroughs uh, mixtures of experts activates only subset of the model so the mixture of experts multi head latent attention this all techniques were specifically used and that is the reason they were able to just even though the gpu was not that powerful they were able to do it and the next thing is that they have open sourced 
the every details like how they were able to do it through that particular research paper now just imagine the kind of competition will come now other companies will also come and see it you know today sam altman also said that hey um, deep seek r1 is an amazing model but don't worry we are also coming up with something more amazing right now because of this what will happen is more research more competition will probably come you know and more better model will be coming and the best part is that this will be very much helpful for all those users all those companies who are specifically using the services to use them right and because of that the cost will decrease and and that is what i'm seeing in the future the cost should keep on decreasing with respect to this okay and these are all the remaining things which you can also see i will put this github link in the bottom one okay in the description of this particular video okay now the next thing let's let's try some of the things so here i have actually got the access of this you can just go to chat.deepseek.com now i don't think so i'll be using or uh, chat gpt anymore because this is pretty much good so let's say uh, and how this specifically does the reasoning this is the beautiful part okay so let me just uh, go ahead and say hey uh, please write me a blog on agentic ai okay i'm just probably around 500 words okay around 500 words let's see now see this how this reasoning specifically happens okay and soon i'll also be coming off this particular video our team is already exploring this we're creating the gen ai product uh, there are some concerns uh, which we have probably will test it out and then probably you know those kind of videos also will try to display so i need to okay so now the reasoning thinking has started okay first i should define the agentic ai clearly there's all things next i should outline this then this 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 see automatically it is reasoning itself right and this is what is the power of a reasoning itself right just imagine if i'm trying to use this kind of model along with my agentic ai application just imagine what kind of work it will be able to do okay ethically consideration and this this is like this model is just like you know I know this is created by Chinese AI company, so Chinese government has probably told, just shut your mouth, okay? You don't, you don't have to probably speak more than what is required, you know? <laughs> just try to see this, because I'm going to show you one example, okay? Um, and that is what my developer, right, Mahindra, uh, he probably shown and he sent me the screenshot and he told Chris, so please do make sure that you mention this points also, okay? Now here you, you come, right? The entire, the dawn of autonomous decision making, autonomy, adaptability, there's all things are there. And here you can see that how beautifully it is able to do all this process and it is able to do it. So the thinking part, the reasoning part is quite efficient. It will just ask, hey, it is not, see over here, I should also touch the future of agentic AI. I did not say to probably talk about future of agentic AI, but it is making sure that, hey, I give what is more than that, right? So this is good, okay? Now let me ask one more question, okay? So now here I'll write, mention all the states of India, okay? Now because of this question, you know, I don't know whether you have tried it or not, but let me just press enter, you know? And here you go. Okay, I need to list all the states. It starts with, Oh, right. Oh, oh, okay. Now, now, now you see what will happen. There were 29 states, seven unitaries after reorganization. This, this, this is fine. One state is not visible. See, suddenly, sorry, I'm not sure how to approach this type of question. Let's chat about math, coding and logic problem instead. Okay. So obviously everybody knows that regarding Arunachal Pradesh, right? So that kind of question when it comes, right? It is not going to give you that answer. Okay. Because it is a critical question, specifically with respect to Chinese and Indian relationship, right? Um, similarly, if I go and ask related to any leaders, it is not going to give you the answer. So this is completely <laughs> controlled by Chinese, right? So here it says, it, it says, hey, this is my limit. I have to probably speak till here, okay? So I hope you like this particular video, guys. Uh, go ahead and check out all the information will be given in the description of this particular video. Now, more tutorials and even in my agentic AI batch, you know, I am including even uh, uh, creating agentic AI application using this DeepSeek R1 model. So we will try to do that with Olama. So I'm also planning to include this because this is what is all innovation all, all about. OK, but still there are some concerns with respect to DeepSeek wherein, um, uh, you know, all the information specifically will be stored in the Chinese server itself. So that is one. Uh, and we don't know like how they're going to specifically use that particular data also. So yes, this was it for my side. I hope you like this particular video. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.